Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie, and today, if you can't tell already, I've been playing. It's actually nighttime. I like to film at night, I don't know why. And I started playing with some blue eyeliner, then I hated it, and I took it all off and tried again. So this video is me just playing around. I hope that you're interested in seeing how I got both of these looks. I'm having a really hard time talking tonight because I'm still getting over this cold. So I'm not talking through this video very much. It's a lot of me just getting in the zone. I did make some mistakes and as always, I show you how I fix them. If you're new here, my name is Julie Meekle. I'm 52 years old. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist, hoping to help you out. Oh, and I dip into fashion a little bit. I'm here to build a community and go through all the changes that our faces are going through and our bodies are going through as we age. And yeah, I have to learn how to do my makeup all over again, just like you are. And I like to share it with you here so hopefully you don't feel alone and we can work through it together if you do like this video don't forget to hit the like button hit the subscribe button before you leave share with all your friends and be sure to leave me a comment below even if it's a little heart or a smiley face it helps the algorithm know that you guys like my videos and I love to get to know you as well as always all the products that I use in this video are going to be listed in the description box for you they are affiliate links if you do use them it does help me out and I put it all back into the channel and buy new makeup so I can show you and test things out. But no pressure, if you don't use them, I'm just so happy that you're here. Enough talking, let's get on with the video. I just wanna play. I really have fun when I do that. When I play around and don't have a plan, I learn so much. I have the Dior face and body. This is in number 1.5N. I'm pretty sure it's gonna match me today. I am praying that I don't get anything on this white shirt. I'm gonna use my Nikki LaRose N17 brush. And let's see. How this works yeah that's perfect when i'm self tanned i'm either a 2 or a 2.5 i want to talk to you about something i did a concealer video the other day and i was showing you color correctors and the huda beauty uh, faux filter corrector and i think it's really important for everybody to think of pigment as pigment i don't know if you noticed that i just pulled that foundation up underneath my eye okay it's not labeled a concealer it's labeled a foundation, but it concealed, you see? Oftentimes, I hear that people are not having great luck with their concealer, and I say cheat your foundation up. Don't think of the foundation as only for your face, depending on the formula. You see how that worked? There's a myth, and I hear so many people say it, that concealer covers more than a foundation. Well, that's not true, because I could put a high coverage foundation on and a light coverage concealer on. It's just the way they're labeling the product. And that could be the case for skincare, as well however the eye area is very delicate so there are products that are specifically meant for the eye area like for an example retinols i'm not sure that you would want to put a strong retinol under here where your face might be able to take it because the skin here is thinner and more delicate but when it comes to foundation think of your foundation as pigment that's it and remember this demonstration so look what i'm about to do i can see all the violet in there i'm gonna run that same color I can use a different brush actually so I can show you specifically. I really need to wash my brushes. So the same foundation is going to go right there as if it was a concealer. You would never know if I didn't tell you. And look, it covered it. This foundation is beautiful. The Dior Face and Body, it has been one of my favorites for years. They did change the formula, but the formula is just as beautiful. It just has a bit more skin caring ingredients in it. I would put this foundation on for people going to a wedding. It is so beautiful. It lasts all day and my skin looks radiant. It's labeled face and body because you can use it on your arms, your legs, anything. So what I would do if somebody was going to something fancy and they had redness on their arm, like I have some redness on my arm when I'm not self tanned, I would take a color, maybe even add a bit of moisturizer, maybe, and put it all over. I feel like I'm shadowed on one side. There, that's better. <laughs> So play around with that. You don't always need to have separate products for different areas of your face. I'm gonna use my House Labs powder and dust it over my brows. They're feeling a little slick right now and I want my brows to stay. I wanna make sure that they've got something to stick to. I'm gonna go in with Urban Decay's Big Bush Brow again. I've been playing with this a lot, I really like them. I have to say the brow blade and the 
Slick Daybrow are my favorite products. This one I haven't played with as much. And since they're really getting blonde and I'm due for a tint, I wanna see up close how they, how they look after. I'm going against the grain because I wanna get underneath as well as on top. Is there hair there at all? I can kind of see hair, <laughs> but not a lot. I'm getting some on my skin because I'm trying to grab those hairs. That looks good. Someday I'm gonna figure out how to get this clear quality on my live streams. Where are you, you little hairs? I like the color. Now that it's dried, I'm gonna do a second coat. Hey, that actually works. Now it's got something else to grab onto. I've never thought to do two coats. Look at the difference. What makes sense? See, I wouldn't even think about this if I wasn't playing. Now let's go in with the pencil. Did I go too high there? I'm gonna use the pen. I have brows, oh my God, I feel weird. Did they look weird? I'm not used to them being so thick. I feel so strange. But if I saw that on somebody else, I would think it looks so pretty. The beauty is that I don't have to pencil in my whole brow, which I don't normally do anyway. When I put the big bush brow on, it's so funny to say that, I can see exactly where I have the holes. looking a bit splayed out there. Let's fix that. Better. I think I need to clean it up with concealer. That's probably what I need to do. It's still not as thick on this side, is it? Oh, do I want to get it thicker? Just a little bit like that. Is that good? I wish I could hear what you were saying. I feel weird because I have no makeup on. I really need to tint my lashes. I forgot I wanna clean this up a little bit as well.
Might as well set that too. What is this gonna look like? Am I making a big mistake? Maybe. I'm playing. Are we live? No. But you're going live, you said. I thought. No, I no no no. I just felt like filming because I I'm not <coughs> self tanned and I'm I kind of don't mind my skin like this. So I'm playing. I don't mind your skin like that. With a different color palette. That makes your eyes look green. I know. Because you have the bluest eyes. Yeah, I was noticing that too. It looks like I have a different color eye in there. Yeah. Huh. Okay, I didn't like that, so changing it up. This is why I should have a plan. So I still have a bit of residue of blue. So don't pay attention. I'll clean it all up in a minute. I'm gonna start off slow this time. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. By the way, this is the Natasha Denona Lila palette or Lila palette. I believe it's Lila. Let's create something fun. Hopefully this will work. My last idea didn't work out very well. So I'm just gonna take that in the crease first. Starting where I want it darker, like out in the outer corner, and then dragging inwards. These shadows blend so pretty. Last color I just tried skipped so much. It made my application so miserable. It wasn't fun, it wasn't working out, and I gave up. So if you're finding that your eyeshadow is difficult to do, try using a better eyeshadow. It really does make a difference. You can skimp on a few things, but when it comes to eyeshadow, there's really good eyeshadow and it's hard to find at the drugstore. You can't go wrong with Natasha Denona. This is a refer number 14. I think I'm gonna go into this lighter color and put it right here and blend downward. Yeah, and that softened that line just a little bit right there. Okay, this is a cream eyeshadow stick by Glow Skin Beauty, and this is in the color Pitch. I'm gonna create a base all over, or at least the outer two thirds. I'm gonna take an empty brush and kind of blend out the edges right here. right up into the crease. Actually, I may show that to you since I'm not going anywhere again. I can show you the difference between what will happen on a dark base versus a light base. Okay, and I'm just going to work this in an angle. Just like that. Should I go into this one or should I go into this one? Let's do the warmer. I'm using my refer number 12 and putting that right there. What really grabbed, eh? Ooh, I'm liking that. I'm using this one right here. It's called Magnolia. So I put that Magnolia color over top of the black, right? But now what happens when I put it on the lighter area? It's gonna be a different tone altogether because it's got a different base.
Thank goodness something worked out tonight. All right, I'm excited about that. So let me do the same thing on this side without the base. That's what I'll do. I'm not talking a lot in this video because it's so <laughs> it's so hard to talk. And then we'll see which one we like better. I doubt we'll like one better over the other. It's just gonna be different. I have to stretch this eye out. Okay, Magnolia is going to go on top. I'm going to use my finger like I did the first time. And then same thing in here. And then I'm going to take the original brush and blend it all in. Look at that. That is perfect. I'm gonna straighten that out. Hopefully I get it on the same angle. It's not gonna be as dramatic of a line because it's not as dark. Did I just mess it up? I'm actually gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna Use the black base under. Really close to the lash line. And then I'm gonna smudge that a little bit so you don't see the stop and the start. And then I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna dip it into that darker warm color and attach it. See how I'm actually changing the color of the black? Because that pigment in the eyeshadow is so rich, it really doesn't look black anymore, but it gives it more depth underneath where I put it. I'm actually going to smoke this right out. Let me do the inside. I know it's a horrible look, but. I'm gonna go really push that into the base of the lash. I'm gonna take a brush and just go on the tip of that and ever so slightly go in there. And it's the same thing under here. I'm gonna line under. I wanna see that black line, but just not very thick. You see how I have, like it goes up and over? I wanna straighten that out a little bit. Just trying to fill that space a little bit. I'm gonna use that same pencil, but on the brush, and create a deeper black lash line. So the whole idea of this is that you're not gonna be able to see where my lashes stop and start. I don't wanna see any skin. And I can see right here, you see how that, and right there, there's a little bit of a hole there. I'm gonna go underneath with my brush and the cream shadow and fill those spaces. Because to me, that's distracting. And the other thing that would bother me is if this kind of went up like See how this 
divots up a little bit. I don't like that either. I'm gonna wipe this brush off a little bit on a tissue and dip into that brown color again, and right there. Maybe I will use a bit of the black. It's like it's not sticking. It needs to have something to stick to. Yeah. I feel better about that. See, now that I've curled my lashes, you can see there's a couple holes there. Can you see that right there? There's an empty spot. And again, to me, that's very distracting. And I fixed it. I actually have a new mascara to try. This is the Clinique High Impact Hi-Fi Full Volume Mascara. I love the original High Impact. It's one of my favorites. Ooh, I like the brush on this. I like how it goes narrow on the inside. Did you know that when I was 26, maybe 26, 27, I worked at the Clinique counter? Of course, when I worked at the counter, for sanitary reasons, we couldn't use brushes. We had to use Q-tips to apply makeup. Being the makeup lover I was, applying makeup with a Q-tip and a cotton pad was not, I wasn't having it. Okay, so there's one eye done. I'm not gonna be able to tell you my full review on this until I really play with it, but so far it's really nice. Okay, I'm gonna finish this eye up now. I'd like to get it as wide under here. I'm gonna take it in as far as I did the other one and I'm gonna to try to take it down further as well. I always make sure it goes thick to thin. It gives it that lift. I did use this color, I forgot. So I'm gonna use this on the outer corner. I'm gonna clean that up, don't worry. I almost would like to wet the brush. I feel like it did get wet right there a little clean up again yeah i feel like this was wet or something right there i don't know why it would have been wet maybe it hadn't dried since i cleaned it up so i just cleaned it up i'm putting a little bit of powder and i'm gonna try again because the shadow is definitely grabbing Blend this out a little bit. This will be interesting. We'll be able to see the mascara a little bit better because it's not hidden in front of something. Of course. Yep. <laughs> Don't panic. Okay, let me clean up with a little bit of concealer since I had to wipe so many times and I'll finish up my face. I never wear false lashes. Do you? Let me know if you do. Some of my friends wear them all the time and I just couldn't be bothered. I am finding that this looks a bit messy. I'm not used to that. There, I think that looks better. I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta Contour Duo, I believe it's called. This is in She's Sculpted. Hard to say. Ah. I'm gonna use this brush by Beely. And I'm just gonna push upward. A little bit right in here. So much nicer putting it on this side because this is my hyperpigmentation area and this side doesn't have it. A little bit here. Just a little bit on my fingers. Right in there and down.
trying to make my nose look straight. Oh, I, th I think I did it. Did I? A little bit here. What's this color? Yeah, that works. What is this? It's Wherever Walnut by Makeup Forever. I think this calls for something a little bit shiny. This is my favorite YSL. It's number 15 and it's Candy Glaze. It's so pretty that I bought one for my mom for Christmas. I forgot to powder, so I'm gonna use the powder bronzer now. And set the cream. feel like I want to line the inner rim. I'm going to use Sephora brand. Oh, wrong eye. I'm going to use Rosewood from the Backstage Collection. I'm going to refer 05. It'll go with both looks. I'm going to use the Givenchy Prism Libra in number three. I'm gonna use a 112 by BK Beauty. So it's a little fluffier. I don't wanna press a lot in. I'm just gonna set the areas that haven't been touched by powder. I think I managed to keep my white shirt good. Yay. Makes a difference, eh? Anywhere else? Maybe there? And I'm pretty shiny on my forehead. Part of it is the lights. Oop, too much, too much. I am so sorry I didn't talk much today. I had so much fun playing and when I play, sometimes I get lost in it. I hope you got something out of it. And look at, I'm able to, oh, <laughs> no, no. I, I'm, this is gonna be a very short outro. I hope you guys are staying well and healthy and you know, this cold. Luckily, I didn't lose a lot of energy. It's just been hard to talk. That being said, I am gonna get off of here. Let me know if this helped you. Let me know if this inspires you. I hope so. I hope it inspires you to play. You're never too old to play with makeup. Just have fun. If it doesn't work out, take it off. Try again. Think of it as your you time. Think of it as your art therapy. Yeah, just relax and have fun. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Share with all your friends, and I will see you later. Bye.